What's up? What's happening? What is popping? What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another great edition of Smo with the Spizzles. I'm Simone, bringing you guys daily sports talk. So if you're new here, if you're old here, and you haven't already subscribed to my channel, stop what you're doing. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Keep rocking with me. Also, make sure you check out the links down below. The first one is to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel. The second link is to shop the official Smo with the Spizzles merch collection. Get you the classic tee, the wavy tee, or the flower dye crew neck. And lastly, guys, if you have not done anything else, Turn your notification bells on so you don't miss a single video or a single live stream. But y'all, let's get into it. You've seen the title. You have seen the thumbnail. It's being reported by Keith Pompey, and it's it's blowing up everywhere. Something that we we talked about months ago. This this really came out months ago that James Harden is expected to want to return to the Houston Rockets. Um, this offseason so we know James Harden made his name for himself in Houston he has probably family out there he has his businesses out there you know what I'm saying the club <laughs> they all out here you know what I'm saying so it's no surprise at all that James will want to go back to Houston especially being at the back end of his career that's probably where he wants to go and retire but as of right now he is still with the Sixers Doc Rivers is gone <sighs> What we are kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place here because one thing's for sure, people don't know if he's saying that to try to up his leverage and then get more money out of the Sixers or he really wants to go back. So if he wants to leave, it's one of two things. He could end up walking for nothing or we could try to get something back in a potential sign and trade. But y'all, we don't have that many options. Like, like any type of star that we're going to acquire on this team in the, in the offseason is going to have to come via trade. What are we going to do without James Harden is my question. Now, I know I was on here talking all that shit after the loss, talking about some everybody get up out of town, James, go, Joel, go. You know what I'm saying? Caught up in the moment. But if I'm being realistic, if I'm being a 1,000% honest, it might be in our best. And I'm not saying give him like a crazy deal if that's what he's asking for. But it might be in our best interest to try to keep James Harden because let's look at the free agent list. Uh, Fred Van Fleet, D'Angelo Russell, Russell Westbrook, Kyrie Irving, dud, 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 duds. Dud, 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 duds. Like, I wouldn't mind having getting D'Angelo Russell on the team, like, as a, a um, just a role player. But D'Angelo Russell is not no lead dog. Um, George Hill, Ish Smith, Corey Joseph, Dennis Schroeder. Um, Dennis Smith Jr., Aaron Holiday, Michael Carter Williams, Gabe Vincent. There's no dogs. There's no lead dogs on the free agency market. So, like I said, if James walks, our only option to replace James, to replace your head honcho, to replace your your lead facilitator, lead uh, leader of the offense, is via trade. And I don't know how many of these like stars. <laughs> want to be traded. I mean, shoot, Dame. Dame was just talking on social media, talking about, you know, if y'all want to trade me fans, because apparently the, the Trailblazers fans is a little bit disgruntled with what they got going. I mean, of course, they haven't been doing shit. You know what I mean? Like, having a player like Dame is fire and fun, but at the end of the day, you want to win championships. But anyway, what, uh, who are we going to bring in? Who are we going to bring in? If James leaves, who who's who's next? Who's coming next? Because like I said, there's no there's nobody on the free agency market that's gonna replace James. That can replace James. The only way we can replace James, like I said, is via trade, and it's we have to trade and bring a star in here. And but who? So that's why I'm saying, given the market right now, it's probably in our best interest to try to keep James at least for a year and a half. Um, two years, definitely not like a four year deal. Um, we still have Tobias Harris whose, whose contract is expiring. So it'll be easier to trade him, but we're going to have to make some real moves this off season. So if James wants out, like if James wants to go to Houston, James is going to do whatever he wants. We saw when he wanted out of Houston, he went out and he was able to, to um, get out of Houston. When he wanted to get out of Brooklyn, he was able to get out and go like James is going to get out and do what he wants. Like if he wanted, he going to get it, period. He's, he's made that clear. His agent has made that clear. Um, but I think right now, right now it's in our best interest to try to keep James for the short term. Because like I said, y'all Pickens is slim out here. Pickens is slim, but 
let me know what you guys think make sure you like this video leave a comment subscribe keep rocking with me check out links down below buy me the coffee i feel this channel shop the official small spizzle merch collection and until i talk to you guys next time bye